Anka 3 gets naval variant and indigenous engine. According to the latest information from the authorities, Anka 3 is a drone that can take off and land on aircraft carriers. In addition, the Anka 3, which will make its first flight with Ukrainian engines, will use the Turkish TF 6000 engine, which is still under development in the mass production phase. Anka 3 will come in a configuration that can be deployed on TCG Anadolu Prof. Dr. Temel Kotil general manager of the Turkish TI, announced in a TV program that a naval version of the Anka-3 unmanned combat aircraft is being worked on that can be deployed on the TCG Anadolu multipurpose amphibious ship. According to Kotil's statements, he is referring to a derivative of the Anka-3 that can take off from short runways and withstand hard landings. Considering the rapidly expanding range of fixed-wing platforms for TCG Anadolu, the Anka-3 will be able to respond to the different needs of countries with LHD-type ships or Stobar-type aircraft carriers in the future global market. Nevzat Polet, systems engineering manager at TAI, previously commented on the naval version of the Anka-3. This feature is something we considered from the very beginning. However, there are some limiting factors in such designs. It is necessary to design aircraft with different characteristics for landing and taking off from an aircraft carrier because you have to be able to land and take off in a very short time. Your engine needs to be much more powerful than an airplane. Because UAVs do not have pilots, the ability to land on an aircraft carrier is also an important capability. These are the platform derivatives that we are working on. When we say Anka 3, we are not talking about an aircraft. It has a family. There will be lower classes or heavier systems. We also have scale models of the same type. Our friends are currently working on the realization of the lower weight of this aircraft. We are also working on a higher one. Anka-3 and Kizalelma drones to use Turkish TF-6000 and TF-10000 engines Prof. Dr. Mahmut Aksit, general manager of TI Turkish Engine Industries, attended the meeting held at TAI's Ankara campus and answered questions from the press. In this context, Axit announced that TF-6000 and TF-10000 engines can be used in Anka-3 and Kizalelma unmanned aerial vehicles. Axit made the following statements. If we add an afterburner to the TF-6000 engine, it will become the TF-10000. In terms of size, weight, and power class, it will be able to power both Kizalelma, Anka-3, and our indigenous attack boat. All ships in modern navies use both diesel engines and aircraft engine derivatives. I say derivative because you convert the aircraft engine for use in a ship. You take the energy from the exhaust and you put it into a separate set of thrusters. You convert the thrust into rotation, which is shaft power, through a gearbox. This is then transferred to the ship's propeller. STM is working on an assault boat project. However, the first ships will use imported engines. This is because the engines take longer to produce. As in the case of Gok Bay, it is impossible for the domestic engine to reach the first product because the engine project starts five years after the product. First, you build the platform, and then you indigenize the components. I hope the engines will come one after the other. Turkey's first indigenous turbofan engine, TITF 6000. With Turkey's turbofan engine needs in mind, TEI is developing the first indigenous TITF 6000 turbofan engine with a dry thrust of 6000 LBF. Designed to support the afterburner version, the engine will provide more thrust with the afterburner. The TITF 6000 turbofan engine and its derivatives to be developed from the core engine can be used in various national platforms such as manned and unmanned combat aircraft, business jets, regional passenger aircraft, civil military helicopters with a takeoff weight of 10 tons, assault boats, and power plants. For example, this engine is scheduled to power the Baikar Kizilelma and Anka 3 unmanned combat aircraft. With the TITF-6000 project, TITF-6000 aims to provide critical technology, domestic sub-industry companies, and experienced manpower to our country by realizing turbofan engine, accessory subsystems, fan module, variable fixed blade compressor, flow mixer exhaust, afterburner design, development, and manufacturing stages for the first time in Turkey. Thanks for watching. Subscribe Defense Labs YouTube channel for aviation and defense industry news and updates.